Hello everyone, and welcome back to Weekend Cartoon Reviews. I'm going to be trying out this new setup, and if I'm really, really loud, I apologize for that. Let me know in the comments section if I'm really loud here. But yeah, today, we're going to be reviewing Strays. Now, you might be telling yourself, Liam, this isn't a cartoon. Why are you reviewing this? Well, there's animated scenes in it which by definition kind of makes it a cartoon. And there's talking dogs that are animated. Woo! Okay, I know I'm kind of bullshitting on this one, but I felt like I wanted to talk about it anyways. And I mean, there's some movies that I still have yet to watch on Netflix that are on Netflix as well. I've seen Nimona, but I'm going to save that one. I'm going to save that one for another time. Anyways. So, what did I think of Strays? What is it? Strays is about a dog named Reggie. Like, this plot, it, like, it's a comedy. It's very juvenile. It's a very juvenile comedy movie. So, I'm just going to say right off the bat that this movie is not for everyone. I'm going to have to say that. You have to have a very specific sense of humor to like this movie, I'd say. You might like the characters, but the comedy aspect of this movie is definitely not for everybody. But I do like the story of the movie. I like the story. It's just so absurd and ridiculous that I just... How can I not talk about this movie? Anyways, so it's about a dog. His name's Reggie. And um, his owner doesn't like him. Well, for how he was brought there was the owner's girlfriend, which... I don't think they ever say her name in the movie, but she buys a dog. Doug, the guy, hates dogs. Doug absolutely does not like dogs or any animal for that matter. And then Doug pettily takes Reggie because he was upset that they broke up. And yeah, Doug doesn't like Reggie and he's doing everything he can to try to get rid of him after because of an eviction notice. And Doug's a porn addict. I'm just going to say that right now, but... It's hard to review this movie without getting a community guideline strike, because... <laughs> so, I'll try <laughs> to review this. That's why I've been kind of pushing back on this one, because I've been trying to figure out how to approach this movie and how to review it. But anyway, <laughs> basically, Reggie... Yeah. Like, he... Like, they like to play a game called Fetch and Fuck, which is not what you think it is. <laughs> if you've seen the trailer, you know what it is. But basically, Doug drives him off really, 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 really far away. And then he drops him off somewhere. And then, when Reggie thinks that this is a game, he comes back home and Doug says, Fuck. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And then... When he drives him out really, really far away, like three hours away, to finally, hopefully, get rid of him. He, Reggie then re meets Bug, who's my favorite character in the movie. He's so funny. Like, they interact, and then this one, Reggie, realizes, Duck doesn't love me. And so he meets these two other dogs. Like, I forget the names of the two other dogs, if I'm going to be honest with you. Like, this is a movie you definitely want to watch with friends, or while drunk or high. In my opinion, this is definitely that kind of movie if you want to watch it that way. But it's also the kind of movie if you're just like a juvenile comedy. Which, I mean, the jokes I ain't mind, they ain't get annoying. I mean, there was a, some toilet humor here and there which got on my nerves. But for the most part, the humor here, like, I liked some of the sex jokes. The sex jokes were pretty written well. And other types of comedy that are in there. Like, there's not just one specific type of comedy, if you know what I mean. Just a side of toilet humor with sex jokes and a bunch of crude humor. Yeah. There's a lot of dog jokes as well. Yeah, it's... The comedy, like I said, isn't for everybody, but there were some jokes that caught me so off guard, like the narrator dog joke, which I won't get too into. And there's also the joke where um, the dogs, they all get high, high as shit, and then... <laughs> they fucking kill a whole family of rabbits! I sound sadistic. Anyways. <laughs> so, the movie... Yeah. 
it, it's great. He, like, he then says, Reggie's like, I want to bite his dick off. Like, after he meets the dogs, he's like, I want to bite Doug's dick off because he realizes he doesn't love him. And so they all go on a quest, and at some point they get caught by animal control, and then they get out. And then, at the end of the movie, it ends how you'd expect it. But let me get into one of the flaws of the movie. This movie unfortunately, has a third act breakup that was brought up absolutely out of nowhere. Like, we don't get a scene where Reggie establishes that he has these feelings for Doug still, and he thinks that he's the problem of their relationship. There's no scene that establishes that. And then the movie calls back a bunch. Like, it calls back to other points in the movie, because if you forget a scene, it's like, oh yeah, we mentioned this, or oh yeah, we mentioned that. I mean, that doesn't get annoying. It's good in that case to keep consistent with the movie. And, like, for example, one thing Reggie gets taught as a stray, like, basically Bug, like, teaches him the ways of a stray, and, like, if you piss on something, that means you own it. And I thought, okay. <laughs> I just thought, all right, fine. Some jokes I didn't like, like the dog shit joke, where they just shat everywhere inside the animal control and then escaped. I didn't really like that too much. That was kind of a little bit disgusting, but... Eh. That's not the worst thing in the world, you know? Like, there wasn't a lot of jokes that, like, made me go, like, Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you? No. It made me... There's nothing in there like that, I don't think. I mean, there's jokes you might be a little disgusted by, but that's about it. And yeah, that's kind of the movie. Like, I think you can figure what happens at the end of it. Like, I don't like the third act breakup. Like, it just isn't established. It's just as pointless as the third act breakup as it was in Elemental, in my honest opinion. That's really where this movie falls flat for me. Because, like, it really took me out of the film. The third act breakup feels that forced, in my opinion. Ugh. But other than that... I think people are either going to like this movie or not like it. It depends on your sense of humor, like I said at the beginning. But, yeah. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. And uh, the scene where Doug's dick does get paid <laughs> off. <laughs> oh my god. They played a wrecking ball in front of that shit, and I thought that was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Like, they could not have picked a better song for that scene. That that was something I didn't even know I needed for this movie. But yeah, all I needed for this movie to do was just be funny, and it did its job at that. It's not the best movie of the year, but it certainly isn't the worst. 7 out of 10, it's a great film. I recommend I recommend it if you like juvenile humor, humor, but if you're not too fond of that, then this movie definitely isn't for you. That's really all I can say about it. Bye, everyone.